In the Heart of the Word, Reflections by Father Joseph Mary, SCTJM, on the Daily Readings from the Holy Mass, Friday of the 18th week of Ordinary Time, Memorial of St. Clair, Virgin. God bless you, dear family. Today in the Heart of the Word, we celebrate the Memorial of St. Clair of Assisi, the first woman disciple of St. Francis of Assisi, and co-founder with him of the Order of the Poor Clares. In the Gospel, Jesus tells us, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What does Jesus mean? The Lord understands the goodness and truth of our human nature, which is confirmed by the Incarnation, but he also understands the power of sin and the flesh. Ultimately, we are seeking to follow the Lord. If we renounce sin and strive to remain in the state of grace, the enemy that still has to be conquered is not the world, for we do not belong to it. And the enemy has been totally conquered by Jesus. What remains is the flesh. What remains is our attachment to self, our will, our desires, our pride, our vanity, our ego, our self-referentiality. All of the saints teach that this battle requires exactly what Jesus said, to deny ourselves, to take up our cross, and to follow him. Holiness requires that we renounce our will and our thoughts and pray to have the mind of Christ and the love of the Spirit within us. For those who heard Jesus the first time, to take up the cross meant to embrace an excruciating death. It is an image of the cross that Jesus carries and the suffering that we are called to embrace with him. But it is also a sign of the death to sin and to the flesh that we must live out beginning with our baptism. St. Paul writes, I have been crucified with Christ it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. This crucifixion of the flesh requires prayer, penance, mortification, generous service and self-forgetfulness, and above all, to live the spirit of penance and service with the heart and from the heart. Where do we begin? First, by trusting in Christ and the power of the sacraments to make all things new. Then we must cooperate with his grace. Second, we can identify our dominant vice, maybe pride. Then we identify the contrary virtue, which would be humility. To conquer pride, we must seek humility at all times. We must humble ourselves, put ourselves last, and restrain from criticizing, judging, and demanding from others, and simply serve in humble silence. The effort to put pride to death will require that we deny ourselves, we renounce our own will and passions, and embrace the cross, embrace the way of smallness, humility, hiddenness, and peace. In this way, we will lose our life in the eyes of the world, but we will truly begin to live because our hearts will begin to resemble the heart of Jesus, who said, learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. Finding his heart and his love, his peace and his joy, losing our life for his sake, we will truly find it. Let us listen to these words of Mother Adela. Poverty of spirit is poverty from ourselves from our excessive self-love, from our attachment to our own wills and desires. Only the poor can fill themselves with God and all that he desires to give them. For this reason, Jesus teaches, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. St. Clair of Assisi, pray for us. All for the heart of Jesus, through the heart of Mary.